in the frequency chart you'd see all changes your DSP do on your signal. I start the frequency chart. Um, a few basics. You can show the changes from each part of the DSP in separate. For example, you can uh, show the influence of your input equalizer, the D equalizer for your car stereo. You can show the influence of the main equalizer and you can show the output channel section with the crossover and different filter and for the output channel section you can choose more than one option in this case the midwoofer and the tweeter and on 11 12 i have the subwoofer so you can show the frequency response of each part in separate or it's also possible to show in example for uh, for the mid-range you can show the uh, influence of the of all settings in the, in the whole change uh, chain so uh, in this case uh, we have the influence from uh, input equalizer, from the equalizer, and from the filter section 7 and 8. And this is uh, the whole chain from input equalizer over the main equalizer over the channel settings. So you can show the gaining, you can show the phase response and you can show the gain interface and you have the option to show both channels left and right only the left channel or only the right channel so for example this is the frequency response and the phase response from right channel mid-range overall okay if you use the dynamic input equalizer you can show the frequency response for the low volume equalizer you can show the frequency response from the high volume equalizer and you can show the uh, dynamic influence of the uh, of the volume but for this um, it's important in background you must start the uh, DSP monitor so DSP monitor is running and then I can show in the frequency response you see it if I change the volume you see the different response of the dynamic input equalizer by higher volumes it pushed the bass by low volumes it uh, decreased the base. Okay, that's the functional of the frequency chart.